When George Floyd happened, a lot of organizations asked Black employees to talk about how they were feeling, to lay themselves bare, and to be vulnerable, and to say the things that made them afraid, that they were afraid of what would happen to their Black boys and their husbands, you know? And one thing organizations can do to facilitate those conversations is to create an environment of psychological safety. So that's easier because it is necessary to have those conversations so that people understand. However, with that comes great responsibility. What happens after those conversations? What do you do? I think that there is some element of, 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 of white people always asking people of color, what do we do? Do the work educate mm -hmm. yourself, stand up for me so that I don't have to keep standing up for myself. If someone mispronounces my name or spells it incorrectly, I'm tired of saying something. You say something, you know, <laughs> yeah. ask me how I'm feeling and really be comfortable with that. When I answer you, listen to me instead of protecting your own worldview that the world or the organization is a great place.